So that's where England's at. We now have all of these towns and major cities that are completely taken over by a densely packed Muslim population who control housing. We have a Muslim housing association in London. So we cannot access that housing. There's a Muslim police association in London. It's not one like you have, you have the pretend Muslim police, don't you? You have the pretend NYPD cars. Ours is real. The Muslim Police Association. And before you know it, you have this dual policing system that starts off, and that's not a good thing to witness. So I'll give you one example. In a place called Glasgow, it is a rough end of uh, Glasgow. There's a densely packed Muslim population. It's the middle of the day, four o'clock. And out onto the street comes a woman. She's all aflame. She's all lit up. And she's screaming, help me. Help me. And the guy hears her and he runs out. He's in a garage where he's working. He manages to find water. She's on the grass now, laid down. And he manages to throw water on her and puts her out. And I have pictures still of the grass where they picked her up and put her in the ambulance, all black and burnt. That part of Glasgow is under Sharia. It's under Muslim policing. Um, they did a statement. Um, the police said there were no suspicious circumstances. And the local mosque, despite the fact there was no other comment to be made by the police, the mosque said, it was one of our sisters. It was not a hate crime, so people don't need to be concerned. But a good Muslim doesn't gossip about what happens to a sister. Now, when you start with that kind of policing happening, then all of your faith in your country is very easily diluted. The reason 2,000 of our young white girls were raped in one town alone, Rotherham, was because when the girls went to the police, the police didn't want to be called Islamophobic. When the girls told the social workers, they didn't want to be called racist. The girls were t pushed away, turned away, no, you must be wrong. Some of them were from care homes, so they just weren't believed. And in the end, 2,000 girls were raped by gangs of majority Pakistani Muslim men. I was uh, referred to the police, I was uh, investigated for calling these rape squads majority Pakistani Muslim rape squads, and it wasn't looking too good for me until statistics uh, came out on it and it was revealed that they were actually majority Pakistani Muslim rape squads. So I'll take that one. But this is where the police come in. The police are now a legitimate arm of the government silencing machine. There is a hate crime unit that Sadiq Khan has set up to police Twitter, specifically my Twitter. Um, and I have been arrested and interviewed under caution by the major crime and homicide command, two men in a cell with a tape recorder uh, for, a, for a column I wrote in the newspaper about migrants because it was seen as hate speech. Um, luckily, uh, that wasn't referred and I got away with that. But they, they are cracking down fast. My children are referred to social services. So people that are against me or want to shut me up will ring social services about my children. So we've had them to the house three, four times, and I respect that, I'm glad, because if someone's in trouble, I want them to be found out. The only thing I wonder is, where were social services for those 2,000 girls in Rotherham when they needed some help? Why is it that it would be believable if it was something to do with me?